subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. In any workplace, good standards for health and safety should prevail. And even more so on board a ship where one encounters workplaces involving a wide range of tasks often undertaken in geographical isolation demanding specialized skills awareness and a planned approach all new personnel joining a ship must undergo a safety induction procedure conducted by a responsible officer which must at bare minimum cover the requirements as stipulated by the STCW code. This should include a clear explanation of the vessel's alarm signals, emergency muster stations, boat stations and emergency drill requirements. On completion of the safety induction, the new personnel must also receive departmental induction procedures outlining safe working practices, areas of responsibility, standing orders and necessary training required to operate specific machinery and appliances. HSEQ Health, Safety, Environment and Quality Management Systems each company will have its own HSEQ management system framework, commonly referred to as the quality management system. A company's HSEQ expectations will broadly outline the requirements for the effective management of safety and accident prevention, pollution prevention, energy conservation, personal, occupational and environmental health, personal security. Good HSEQ performance can normally be achieved by making crew members aware that safety of shipmates depends on the action of the individual. Designating responsibilities amongst crew members to identify areas which pose potential safety hazards and ensure that the necessary corrective measures are taken. By reducing emissions and discharges and using energy efficiently. This would also imply a close monitoring on waste produced and managed. The Risk Assessment Principle
supply air from an uncontaminated source. If in doubt, always use the breathing apparatus. Hand Protection Injury to the hand is another common hazard and the type of hand protection to be used will depend upon the type of work undertaken or the object being handled. Leather gloves are used during routine maintenance work on board whilst chemical resistant gloves are used for handling chemicals, acids and other harmful substances. Special gloves must be utilized while welding or undertaking other hot work procedures. Foot Protection Casual footwear offers little protection on board a ship's working environment. Proper industrial footwear with slip resistant soles and reinforced toe caps must always be used to minimize foot injury. Body Protection Clean and properly fitting attire ensure comfort and hygiene in normal working conditions. In cold climates, the body should be well protected to avoid hypothermia. 